Hello and welcome back to our video series on your PLR makeover. Now contrary to what Kevin Costner had heard, you know, if you build it they will come, well regarding websites this is rarely true without some type of divine intervention or a little knowledge and traffic generation. Now while I cannot provide the divine intervention, this video will cover several methods of web traffic generation. Now after you've tackled these techniques, you know, those that are outlined in this video series, it's just a matter of rinse and repeat acquire another PLR product and repeat these steps and before you know it you'll have several income streams that are all on autopilot and just need a bit of tweaking or attention from time to time so let's go ahead and take a look at a few traffic generation methods that you can use to bring buyers to your new masterpiece one long-lasting way of generating traffic is through your signature line in your form post and this is something you can go back and change you know as often as you need to of course you might want to just leave it as is because the more posts that you provide to a particular form usually those posts are not archived I mean they're still live for people to dig around for that information and find it and see it and then of course you know follow the links back to your website so the more comfortable you are in posting to forums the more forums you should be posting to and the more PLR products you have live on the internet then you know the more signatures you should have out there directing folks to various products of yours so again that's just one idea and especially those two forums I had mentioned earlier on in this video series the digital point and the warrior forum those are two awesome areas that you can you know get a lot of marketing power from through your signature line in your forms. Now one thing to uh, mention ahead of time here is that there are sometimes some strict rules regarding what you can and cannot or limits of what you can and cannot put into your signature line so be sure you're aware of those rules before you start slapping all the, uh, the the goodies into your sig line to you know eventually be banned from that form altogether so stay within the rules you're gonna get a lot of traffic generated from these sig lines of yours along the same train of thought as the prior suggestion this one is regarding your email signature line of course you're only limited here by your own imagination because it's your email address that you're adding the sig, sig line to and visiting our friends back at Google Mail if you have several email accounts through Gmail for example there you go you can have as many different sig lines in each one of those as you so desire of course you want to keep it professional and keep it within you know, some kind of a guideline there you don't want to go hog wild but again this is another great area especially if you do any kind of marketing online through your emails you know you've got a hefty subscriber list you send out info to or a newsletter to on a regular basis cha-ching here you go now this is one of my favorites because I love making blogs, especially WordPress blogs. And I got to attribute this idea to Kevin Riley. I'm not sure who came up with it beforehand, if anybody did. But this guy's a freaking genius when it comes to using blogs to generate traffic to your sites. And this is what I call, or what he called rather, giving credit where credit's due, traffic generation centers. Basically, and just kind of a rough draft here, you are creating a blog and the title of your blog or the URL to your blog is keyword rich towards that particular product you're trying to drive traffic to and it's basically just a subdomain of the original domain of your product again hopefully you can kind of figure this out uh, it's really not that difficult you're just making a blog and usually many web hosts nowadays allow an unlimited number of subdomains which would equate to an unlimited number of blogs so you can then traffic back or generate traffic back through to your product and on each one of these blogs you've got some content and you can even set up to where it's automatically populated through RSS feeds and you've got one ad one link coming out of that blog guess where it's going to you got it back to your product and the more fingers you've got out there the more blogs you have out there that have one link going out of it to your product then the more chances you have of somebody stumbling if not being directed to because of the keyword rich title uh, but somebody coming to that blog seeing the content that's there hey cool nice you know content and then seeing the one ad that is to your product and then they just click on that and if nothing else it will generate some search engine robots to come check stuff out because of the multiple sites that are linked to your product 
those multiple sites, of course, being your blog. So a great idea. And, of course, one thing that I've kind of thought about in, in, in so far as adding to this, and it's worked on my sites, and that is if you've got several, you know, say three or four different web hosting companies you're with that are all using different IP addresses, because you know this web hosting company has a different IP address and that web hosting company and so on and since I'm you know figuring out anywhere between four to ten bucks a month for these web hosting companies even cheaper if you go on an annual or, or a two-year contract with them then you've got those multiple blogs coming to that one site through multiple IP addresses that even is more Google juice if you will coming to that product to that website of yours so again funneling traffic through blogs awesome idea and while we're on the topic of blogs well if you've got friends or JV partners or just folks that have the ability for you to advertise on their blogs well there you go blogs are just a, a great way to generate additional traffic to your product site simply by advertising on those blogs. Now in some cases they're going to charge you for that. Depending upon the amount of traffic that flows to that particular blog then it could be a hefty sum. But then again too, how much is it, uh, what's your uh, rate of return on that, on that investment for those advertising dollars? Again just something to consider. And of course if you've got friends that have blogs, you've got blogs, what's wrong with reciprocating? You go ahead and have them advertise your product site on their blog and you do the same for them. Simple Simon. Article marketing has always been a winner. If nothing else, if you have no clue what to write your article on, well, hey folks, you got a PLR product there you're dealing with, and whether it's a video, you can get it transcribed. Whether it's an autoresponder set or an ebook or just articles in and of themselves you're packaging up to sell, well, there is your content. You simply repurpose or modify those articles into smaller sections or articles that you can then, you know, again, you want to make the changes on them, you need to modify them, whether it's using a quality, not some crappy, but some quality spinning tools or just rewrite them yourself or outsource it or you can just outsource altogether new articles all you know from the get-go from scratch and then you can just publish those articles through several directories and of course there's tools and software out there and even services you can pay to where it would automatically be submitted to these but I know that if I submit them by hand, yeah, it's a little time consuming, but I know it's getting done and it's getting done right. So again, that's just my two cents worth there. But article marketing with the resource box that have links coming back to your product's website, a number one in my book. Video marketing, something that's near and dear to my heart. All you have to do is use some of the free software that's easily accessible online, uh, Screen Toaster, Cam Studio, just to name a couple. And the articles that we were talking about just a second ago, you can get those redone again, either yourself or some kind of spinning software that spits out quality content, not something that looks like a you know a second grader wrote them. Uh, or you can outsource this as well. But anyway, you've got articles you can create slides from those articles you can while doing the screen recording if you got a decent microphone you can read the articles and there you have your audio video otherwise you can just put some kind of a background soundtrack in it whether it's uh, music or whatnot make sure that the slide or the content of the slide is the star not the background music so tone the music down and then you can just make those slides in a sequential order of course paragraph one two three and so on and boom there's your video now you got your video rendered create an AVI or WMV or whatever is acceptable to these video web hosting sites you know like YouTube you may have heard of that before uh, Google video Yahoo video I mean there's a gazillion of them out there and just start uploading them as a matter of fact if you use a service a free service like tube mogul or there's some other ones out there that you know costs a little bit of coin but you can have them you do it one time and you you can upload a several sites at once save a little bit of time time is money so video marketing is a great way to go and as long as that web hosting site is up YouTube has been up for a while now folks and it plans on being up for quite a long time then your video is going to stay up there you've got a link on that video or directly in the uh, uh, description of that video that is directing traffic back to your products website then you've got a long lasting funnel or pipeline of traffic coming to your products website video marketing use it
Yes, there's this thing called unconventional marketing methods. Really, it's just where your imagination tends to get the best of you sometimes, but you'd be surprised what the outcomes might mean as far as additional traffic to your product's website. Again, it's unconventional. It may work, it may not work, but if you don't try things, you're never going to know. One prime example that people tend to get a kick out of whenever I mention it to them, and this is what I consider, you know, just out of the box type thinking whenever you go to the library if you still do that or even bookshops you know whenever you're uh, going over to Barnes and Nobles or whatever to do some borrowing their Wi-Fi if you will well make you a few notes make you quite a few notes with the URL to your web to your products website and just arbitrarily leave those notes inside of books I would suggest more popular books that might get a little more less shelf time and when somebody brings that book off of the shelf they open it up naturally it's gonna open up to wherever that note is boom now of course you might get a snicker they might just kinda of look at it and go what the heck is this chances are pretty good it might even generate a little bit of traffic I'm not saying to put all of your eggs into this particular basket that would be silly but again just an idea to get the imagination juices flowing really you should add unconventional marketing methods to your repertoire of generating traffic now there of course are many many methods of generating traffic to your site and these are just a few now, I hope you learned something from these videos and will profit greatly from them as well. Remember, though, that these and many of the other rules you encounter in the online marketing world should be looked at as guidelines and not that they were written in stone. Use your imagination along with these rules and from time to time think outside of that box and from time to time try new things. You never know. Your new way of doing something could just be the next million dollar product. Thanks for watching and have a great day.